you sum up that year for yourself? <laughs> uh, definitely a lot of ups and downs, but overall, I'm just glad I finished the way I did, uh, being able to get minutes with the Wizards and then uh, make the most of them. So, um, you know, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. That's what I've been told. What have um, what messages have you heard from Wes or Tommy or even uh, Coach Mike just about the role that they see you kind of growing into with the Wizards if you guys have had discussions of that nature? No, nah, we haven't really talked about that at all yet, but I can kind of just see it for myself. Uh, just, you know, definitely playing, being able to play, first of all, uh, at the beginning of the year, uh, next year. But um, just any role that they need me to play, I'll be willing to play as long as I can get on the floor and just uh, help the team win. I think you had, I think you had 20 attempts, is that right, yesterday, something like that? Yeah, what yeah. Have, <laughs> what have you um, learned this year just about, like, taking open shots in the, in the NBA is different than taking open shots in college? Obviously, like, an open shot, you have less space, but you still got to do it. What have you learned just about kind of that and, and the readiness part of your offensive game this year? Mm -hmm. uh, I've been told that an open shot is the best shot you're going to get, regardless of where it's at on the floor. <laughs> So um, they, they don't want me turning those shots down. I get I only made like four out of 20 shots yesterday, but um, it's more of the process and the aggressiveness that people like about me. So, um, now nah, I think, I think you know, it's all just about learning and growing, especially uh, playing these last couple games. You know, obviously they're not meaningful because you don't make the playoffs, but um, I think me and a lot of the other younger guys took it as an opportunity to just go out and show what we can do. Do you anticipate playing summer league and what does kind of your offseason look like? Yeah, yeah, I'll be, I'll probably play a few games in summer league, but um, the off season is just gonna be uh, a lot more work. Um, I'll probably be around here most of the summer, so definitely got to put on a few pounds too. What's good, Johnny? What up, Wayne? Uh, question for you: If you could go back in time to pre-draft workout when we talked, what advice would you give yourself then that you know now? Um, just remember that I was the tenth pick in the draft, and to not doubt myself and just stay confident in my game and trust the work that I put in. And just one more for you. Your time with the Go-Go has now been put you in like a goodie, as a legendary. Um, the, the kids there, the Warrior kids that came and cheered you on, they're really taken to this Iron Man nickname. Um, just what's a message you can give for those kids back in the Warrior that really, you know, stuck by you? Um, you know, I appreciate the support and the belief that they had in me all season long. I know there were some stretches where it got a little rough. But um, no, nah, I just appreciate all the support that they give me all year and hope they uh, keep that same energy next year. Appreciate you. Now that the season is over, how difficult was it to have uh, your kid born like right before your first training camp? I would imagine that whole experience <clears throat> was pretty tough. Yeah, uh, it was definitely tough just because, um, you know, it was right during training camp. So I remember after our training camp practices, I would I'd be the first one out of here. You know, guys would be like, oh, where's Johnny at? Five, ten minutes after practice, I flew home. Uh, it was just because I wanted to be there for, for my daughter and my girlfriend. Uh, you know, I knew that it was going to be even harder on her because she had to be at home the whole time, and she's new to us. This is our first kid. So I just kind of just had to figure out how to balance basketball and having a baby. But obviously, you know, I'm going to be there for my family first. But I think coming out after All-Star break, I, f I figured out how to, you know, balance that and be able to spend enough time with the baby and my girlfriend while also putting in the work I need to put in. So I would say it, it definitely was a struggle at first, but I'm glad I kind of figured it out. And as many people know, you came back a completely different player your sophomore year at Wisconsin. So how can you follow the same trajectory here and make a big leap from year one to year two? Uh, starts right now. Starts in the off season. Just um, you know, keeping that mentality that I need to come in and I still got something to prove, which I do. But also just putting in the work and being able to trust the work that I put in. What aspects of your game specifically are you going to hone in on? And mentally, we know you're going to carry that over to the next year. But just tactically, what are you going to add to your game? Um, definitely a lot better shooting, shooting wise, uh, from behind the three, also at the free throw line too. Uh, I don't know what happened on that, uh, the last couple of games, but I mean, I think there's, I think there's always, uh, something that you can work on in every aspect of your game, but I would say mainly just shooting and, you know, ball handling, being more of a playmaker. Johnny, you've talked about how big it was to be able um, to go home during the all-star break. Was that the first time you'd been home all season, or like was that the first extended time? How many times did you actually get back to Wisconsin to see your family? No, nah, that was the first time I had been home all year. Yeah, so um, being able to see them and see all my friends and all the people that I that I know for a fact believed in me, 
Um, it kind of allowed me to just, you know, settle down a little bit and settle in and uh, realize, you know, that I, I was drafted for a reason and I'm an NBA player for a reason. Were you surprised with how quickly you felt different after coming back and just having that behind you? Like, were you kind of caught off guard by that or were you? No, not really. Um, I think it was... It was definitely exciting to be able to, you know, put together a nice little uh, second half of the season, or not half because there's a lot more games. But um, I just felt really good to be able to go out and just play like how I normally play. Uh, You know, nobody else was restricting or limiting to me before that, but besides myself. But I just felt like I kind of just, you know, broke through that that wall or whatever I was going through at the start of the season. So it felt really good. The first time you've been away from home, um, having you know, grown up, I think, in lacrosse and then mm-hmm. going to school in Madison, and if so, what was it like to be away from your family, including a, a twin brother, who I imagine you're very close to? Yeah. Uh, before before moving here last year in uh, August, September, I'd never been away from Wisconsin for longer than two weeks. So it definitely took some time to adjust. Um, and obviously not living with my brother who I've been living with my whole entire life. Um, you know, that felt a little weird at times, but, uh, you know, my mom told me it was time to grow up, you know, it's time to, you know, go out and do what I need to do. Um, you know, I got a daughter that I need to provide for, but at the end of the day, I know that my family's always still going to be there in that corner for me and that they always just a phone call away. Hey, John, I remember, um, Juwan Howard raving about you and within this game, you know, people are going to praise you. Some people are going to try to knock you off. Um, how did the hate and the like the the visceral and vile words kind of motivate you? Um, most of the time, I didn't really uh, read that garbage. Uh, you know, it's just people talking. Everybody got their own opinion, but the only opinion that matters is mine or you know inside the organization. But um, you know, when I would hear that at times, I would be like, you know, it's just it's just patience. You know, my time is coming. Uh, you know, at the start of the season, those guys, those people could say whatever they wanted to say. But at the end of the day, I knew what I was capable of. Appreciate you.